Hey, girl, what you doing? Really? Well, I'm glad you got something to do because since I've been quarantined, girl, it's only so many times you can paint your nails and just so many times you can reapply your makeup. Oh, and so many times that you can do your hair. Oh, this quarantine has just really dampened my spirits. I'm just used to being out and about and just... Oh, just enjoying myself and just showing huh, my light and shining my light. And this quarantine is just putting a damper on my life. I don't know how long I can take this. It's killing me. This is just really killing me. I can't take this. I just need to be out and about doing me. So anyways, girl, what was you saying that you doing over there? I know your life is boring. So what are you doing over there, girl? Hey, Paulina, girl. Good to talk to you, girl. I got your own speakerphone right now. Girl. on a different level as far as their study, so I'm just worn down. Glad to know that it's hard for you over there just to uh, want to be out and about and do things. Right now, I just need a little bit more, um, wow, what did I say? Coffee? Hello? Yes. Hey, Pauline, what's going on with you? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, so you're just over there planning your makeup and your hair. Must be nice, girl. Must be nice. What am I doing? I'm at work right now. I am working on... Um, the nurses list for tomorrow because we don't have enough people to cover these shifts. So I'm working on that right now. No, you know I'm not sheltered at home. In my job, there is no such thing as sheltered at home. I'm sheltered at work. I've been at work since yesterday. Yes, because the need for helping people right now is so crucial and I'm trying my best to get the most nurses that we can have on standby and it's hard for our medical professionals too because they have families too and they're worn down too because this pandemic is just really wearing us all out. We have stations set up all over. We have people coming in to the hospitals and right now a lot of our medical professionals are afraid too but they are really stepping up to the plate to help people. So what can I do for you today because I really need to get back to work right now on this schedule and get this done. Oh, really? Yes, you can go in online and look at Express Alley Hair. Yes, you can find all those wigs, but right now I have more important things to do. I've got to try to get the nurses scheduled so that we can go ahead and move on and get people help. Okay, Paulina, you do you. You be blessed, girl. Goodbye. Oh, Lord, we come right now, Lord. We don't understand why some people right now, as in Pauline, 
couldn't do anything but be into herself right now, Lord. She's all about herself. She's not caring about what's really going on right now. She only cares about herself and how the pandemic is keeping her inside. She does not care. She just wants to be out and be seen. Oh, Lord, what about the single parent or the parents that are trying to put food on their table feed their children and also help their children with the online teachings right now that sometimes even the teachers don't understand. Oh Lord, what about the people that are able to go out and work, but they're working in our medical fields, dear Lord, and they are stressed out trying to still see about the people that are sick and perishing and passing away, Lord, may they not be overwhelmed. I know what to do, oh Lord. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you right now, Lord, first of all, for the breath of fresh air. We ask that that breath of fresh air circulate among us all, Lord. Help those that are sheltered in but don't know what to do with themselves or are using time to just be idle, Lord. Help those parents, Lord. Help the parents and the children that are struggling right now just to put food on the table. Keep food on the table, Lord. And also be able to get in here and understand the lessons that our teachers teach. Help our teachers and our educators, dear Lord. That may they go in there and get the knowledge that they need sent down through you, Lord. Yes, the wisdom of you, mighty God, right now that you send it down through the teachers and give them a relief from stress too because they too are stressed out too lord help our educators help our children lord that's in the homes now trying to learn help our parents that are trying to teach them dear lord help our people that are trying to help others out there our medical professionals right now lord from the doctors to the nurses to the cnas to the home health everybody that's out there seeing about the sick and the shut-in the elderly the disabled the people that are in nursing homes or facilities for the disabled lord or in their homes lord hospitals pop-up tents that are set up lord to try to test and see about the pestilence lord help them and give them strength and may they be protected also dear lord we thank you lord for us knowing what to do during this time frame we thank you lord and we know that you have heard this prayer lord amen i knew what to do I knew to pray. Be blessed.